So you're level 10 and you bought a clickbait to farm SL at top tier. You're used to fighting Shermans and Tigers around 4 to 6 BR and now suddenly going up against Leopards and T-80s, you can't stop dying once and quitting and your SL farm isn't farming like you'd hoped. Well, you're in luck because three minutes from now you'll be running top tier lobbies. Or you can just buy a K-50. The first lesson is that your armor is useless. You see his 400 millimeters of armor? It might as well be tin foil. You can get one shot from every angle, so if anyone sees you hole up, you're insta-gibbed. Hold down, you're probably still dead, but just later. This is a double-edged sword because this means you can one-shot them also. Let's go over how it's done. The first thing is to know your ammunition. Top-tier darts won't ricochet until the angle is in excess of 78 degrees. Internalize that. <laughs> Next is armor basics. When you're fighting MBTs head on, if you can see the front hole plate, shoot that. If you can see the driver's glass, shoot that. Otherwise, shoot the turret crack or the root of the cannon, in that order. When engaging at an angle, aim at the top of the frontmost wheel. When engaging from the flank, count running wheels and in between the third and fourth wheels. NATO tanks aim high to get the crew, Eastern tanks aim low for the ammo. Just a reminder that damage in War Thunder is module based, not health based. Shooting the engine block 100 times is fun, but it won't earn you a kill. Look at your minimap. Who sees who first will most likely decide the engagement. Be constantly switching in and out of thermals for maximum visibility. Know the spots and be extremely paranoid about checking them repeatedly if you want to stay alive. Look at your minimap. A marked enemy is a free kill. If you're marked out in the open, you are a free kill. Attention to the map half the time means free kill right here. Listen for engine noise. For the love of God, would you please look at your minimap? Plan your routes and move in such a way that you're at least partially concealed. Rushing the point 90% of the time is the death sentence. Work with your teammates and help them with their kills. When your flank's about to be exposed, retreat. Always be careful leaving your spawn because odds are, it's being camped. Don't take full ammo and NATO tanks, only take enough to fill up your first stage. Pause the video if you're too lazy to find the number yourself. Thermal toggle and rangefinder need to be spammable hotkeys. Make sure the keybind set target for squad under common basic is bound to something convenient. In common battle settings, you can disable the game putting you in games in progress if you want. In ground vehicle settings, make sure grass and tank side is off. It's not needed and is a pointless addition unless you like LARPing. No judgment. Well, some judge. Post FX settings, if you don't want to use the game's built-in dynamic lookup table for color correction, here are mine. Under sound settings, other player's engine noise needs to be maxed, the rest is preference. You can use Golden Eagles from your pack purchase for accelerated crew training if you want to power level them, but in my opinion, you don't need to. That's it. Congrats, you're a War Thunder god now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell me I'm trash in the comments below.